guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you guys my favorites for the month of June. I know this is a little late and that I didn't upload it all last week and I'm very sorry about that, but I started a new summer class and I've just been really busy with work and everything. So I didn't post last week, but I will be posting this week and next week I do go on my family vacation. So when I get back, you'll have my family vacation vlog like I do every year. But without further ado, let's kind of jump in and I will show you all of my favorites for the month of June. Starting off, I'm going to do my random favorites. So the first one is like a protein powder. So I've been doing the ketogenic diet now for like a month and a half. So I've been incorporating more protein powders and just collagen powders in general into my lifestyle. So this is the perfect keto collagen vanilla like protein source so it's just like a protein powder and what I do with this is I will make black coffee every morning because I do intermittent fasting in my diet so I will make black coffee as soon as I wake up I'll put a scoop of this in there and what this does is it helps me get like all the nutrients and stuff to support my muscles and my bones as well as it actually keeps me full a little bit longer so with intermittent fasting I don't eat until like 2 p.m. or like 3 p.m. and then I'll stop around like 7 30 8 o'clock so I'm only eating from those hours of the day so what this does is it keeps me full during my fasting period so I'm not craving anything or willing to cheat or anything I think this tastes super good it's one of my favorite products that I found since starting the diet I did just order a backup of this that I'm gonna bring on vacation with me because I still plan on being keto and following everything while on vacation. So I'll keep you updated on the keto. If anybody wants to know like a weight loss video or anything like that, I'm still super new to it and have been getting in and don't have all of the total perfect facts. But if you wanted to see something like that, just let me know down below and I would love to share a little bit of what I've been doing and what's been going on. But love this powder, super, super good. Then I have two pairs of sunglasses as my other random favorites. So the first ones are the, well they're both key sunglasses. So the first one are the On The Low. And they look like this. I'm someone that has to wear big sunglasses, or at least I feel like I have to wear big sunglasses. I have a very large head, so I like to wear them. So these are like super huge, super great. I just really like these. They've been my go-to like really oversized ones when I like don't want to put makeup on or I just want to cover my whole face with sunglasses. I love these. I think they're super cool and they're very chic looking. And my next pair is another pair of Key ones and these are both the Key X Desi collection ones because honestly they have my favorite sunglasses in the world. So these are the Saharas and these are the purple fade ones. I don't know if you can tell but they're like they fade from like black to purple. I don't know. Super cool. Love these. I love aviators, especially since, once again, I have a big head. I like wearing big sunglasses. And these aviators are some of the first pairs that I've been able to find that really work for my head shape. So I love the key and like the high keys and the Saharas. They're both my favorite type of aviators. Okay, so now we're going to get into like the makeup goodies. So for starters, I'm going to start with a body lotion. So this is the Hemp's white peach rose and peony so this is a lotion that is just so so nice once again i've talked about it plenty of times on my channel i really don't like body lotion i don't like the feeling of lotion on my body but this is one that i actually really really like it's super thin and once you put it on right after the shower it soaks in really nicely it also just smells super good Ugh, i have a whole bunch of these and i definitely recommend these to anybody that's looking for a really nice body lotion love so next I have a primer. So this is, well actually I have two primers. So the first one is the Smashbox Primer Water. And then I also have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is a moisturizer and a primer together. So in the summer I'm really lazy with my makeup, like really lazy. So I love using the primerizer as like a primer moisturizer and then the primer water just to kind of lay on top and make sure that I have a really nice primed duo together. Just because I don't want super heavy products on my face because I tend to sweat a lot in the summer. In Maryland there is a lot of humidity and a lot of just like heat and grossness and I sweat a lot on my face in general so being able to add two primers for the protection of keeping my makeup on as well as just be a little bit more lightweight of primers I definitely love these and I recommend someone that's looking for that same type of vibe so next we go into a lip gloss so I actually have this one on and this is the Sephora collection the outrageous plump effect lip gloss in the shade 2 these are super super nice so i saw tati westbrook talk about these first and they're just a really nice thin gloss that aren't super sticky but they give you that like minty tingling feel and i love that about like plumping lip glosses literally my favorite thing about them is that little bit of a tingle so this is something that i really recommend super affordable i think it was like 
maybe ten dollars for this lip gloss it's really nice it gives you that nice like shine to the lips nothing crazy I also like the applicator on it it's like a scoop I don't know if you can see it probably not but it's like a normal doe foot but there's a scoop taken out so it just suctions on the lip perfectly I just really like this and I recommend this to anyone looking for a good plumping lip gloss but doesn't want to spend a high price point. Next we get into a face powder. So this is the Kat Von D, the brightening powder in the shade Petal. So these were on sale at my work, which I work at Sephora. I say that all the time. I thought people knew, but I do work at Sephora. And these were on sale and I have never tried any of these before, but people always rave about these. So I decided to pick one up just to like see how it was. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm not someone that's into the super, super bright under eye, but I do like a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes. And this powder is really, really nice because it's not intensely bright, but it is bright enough to where you get that brightening effect. Also, I really just like the formula of the Kat Von D powders. Like her Locket powder is one of my favorite formulas of powder. I don't get flashback. It kind of blurs out the skin a little bit. And I definitely get the same effect with this, but I also get that little added extra like brightness underneath my eyes which I really like. Next we get into a mascara. So this is the Tarte's Lice Camera Lashes Mascara and I just have the cute little like mermaid packaging. This used to be my favorite mascara when I started YouTube or not YouTube just started wearing makeup in general. Like loved this, love it so much but then I have found others that I love as well but I went back to this this month because I really loved the packaging of it and I was like you know what let me just do it. So I definitely rediscovered my love for this. This one is a good mascara if you just want like a little bit of everything length volume the brush is super nice because it just has a little bit of everything that you can work with on there I really like this mascara um, Tarte has one of my favorite mascaras in general like all of them I have never found a problem with I love all of them so if you're looking for a good mascara brand and you want to jump into the high end definitely recommend Tarte's mascaras to check out first because I haven't found one that I don't like yet so next we get into my favorite false eyelashes so I have been wearing them a lot more often and I've been loving the Ardell wispies they're just super natural especially because I don't like to wear eyeliner a lot especially in the summer because I do have hooded lids and I have oily eyelids and no matter what I do my eyeliner tends to transfer so I like to wear those ones because they don't have a lash band on them it's like an invisible band so I can wear those with just mascara and people don't even know that they're fake eyelashes because you can get them super close to your lid without it looking like you can see a band or anything so I really love these for that aspect they're just my go-to like everyday one I love me a good like iconic lash or a queen bee lash from Coco Lashes but there's just something about the Ardell Wispies that I think are just so beautiful. They're so feminine. They're just a really nice wispy lash and I really love them for everyday wear. My last favorite to share with you guys this month is probably my favorite favorite of the month. So this is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette in his beautiful, beautiful packaging. Just Let's just take a moment to look at these colors. Like, oh, yes. This palette has been my go-to. If you've watched my channel for a while, you do know that I love red tones and just warm eyes in general. This freaking palette does everything for you. You also have pops of purple, pink, like any pop you want, you have in this palette. Especially because I love layering my eyes. Like I did an eye last night where I layered like all of the warm tone, like purples and pinks and really just got some vibrancy out of it and I loved how it looked. This is my first time ever trying his eyeshadow formula, and I would just like to say that, wow. I know why they're super popular. People may have their own opinions about Jeffree Star, but his products are amazing. You can't doubt that. They work super well, they're high pigment, they blend amazing, you barely get any fallout with them. Honestly, they're some of the best eyeshadow formulas I've tried. So if you haven't tried any of his eyeshadow palettes, definitely recommend checking them out. The Blood Sugar is my color story favorite so far. Love it. I also think I might pick up the Thirsty palette because that is so beautiful as well. Like the pops of the blues and the yellow. Uh, love. But other than that, guys, those are all of my physical favorites to share with you. So now we're going to get into music favorites. Okay, so my first song favorite of the month is Ocean from Martin Garrix featuring Khalid. <laughs> so good I love anything Khalid sings with because his voice is just beautiful now I got this my next favorite is I'm a mess from BB Rexa
such a good song. Next song I really like is Still New York from Max and Joey Badass. <laughs> favorite is Sober from Demi Lovato. This song is just so It is just such a beautiful song. But other than that, guys, those are all of my favorites for the month of June. I'm sorry again that it's late. If you'd love to leave down in the comment section below some of your favorites for the month of June or some of your favorites from early July, I would love to see them. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget to subscribe. I do post videos every Wednesday. Bye!